Chapter 7.2, Unit Rates. So we have three vocab words for this lesson. We have rate, unit rate, and unit cost. Please make sure that you write those down. Okay, uh, these are all relating to proportions that you learned about in 7.1. A rate is a ratio involving two quantities with different units. For example, the number of heartbeats in a minute. Heartbeats and minute are different um, units. A unit rate is a rate when the denominator is one. Okay, the denominator is always one. So the number of heartbeats in one minute would be considered a unit rate. A unit cost is a cost for one of something. Okay, one ounce, one, uh, one pound, one of something. We used unit cost to help compare prices. All right, let's get into these examples. So example one, a box of wheat crackers contains six servings and has a total of 420 calories. Find the number of calories in one serving. So I'm going to use kind of a, a model to help me illustrate this. So here's my box, okay? In my box are six servings. One, two, three, four. We'll make my box a little bit bigger. Okay, so six servings. I have a total of 420 calories. I want to know how many calories are in just one serving. So this is a unit rate, okay? So if 420 calories are for six servings, how many calories are in just one serving? Well, this looks like a division problem, and it is. 420 divided by six is Seventy. So there are 70 calories in one serving of cereal or crackers, sorry. Okay, so I set up my, my ratios, my proportions, 420 calories for six servings, some number of calories for one serving. This is simply division. I divide and I got 70 calories. Okay, example two, comparing unit cost. When we go shopping, we are always looking for the best deal, right? I don't wanna to pay too much for something, I wanna get the best deal. So to do that, I need to compare unit cost. So two sizes of sport drink bottles are shown at the left. Sorry, uh, one, I didn't get that picture. One is 32 ounces for $1.29, the other is 24 ounces for $1.20. Which size is the better buy? Round each unit cost to the nearest penny. So I need to know what is the better buy. So we always have price on top, price over size. So when you set up your ratios, you're always going to put the price on top and the size on the bottom. So we have $1.29 and we have $1.20 over, so $1.29 was 32 ounces, and $1.20 was 24 ounces, 24 ounces, there we go. Okay, so if I divide both of these, 
This one is about four cents per ounce. The dollar twenty is ooh, hang on five cents per ounce. So which one is the better deal? The less expensive one, the least price, is the better deal. Smallest price equals the better deal. Therefore, this one, 32 ounces for $1.29, is the better buy. You get more product, more drink, for less amount of money. Okay, example three. A car travels about 25 miles on a gallon of gas. About how far can the car travel on eight gallons of gas? So, 25 miles, 25 miles on one gallon. So this is my unit rate. Because my denominator is one, one gallon, okay? I can go 25 miles, but I want to know how far can I go some number of miles on eight gallons. Well, I know to go from one gallon to eight gallons, I'm going to multiply times eight. What I do to the numerator, I do to the denominator. And 250 times eight equals, I'm sorry, 25 times eight that would make more sense, equals 200 miles. So my answer on this multiple choice would be D. I can travel 200 miles on eight gallons of gas. Make sure when you set up your ratios that you have the same unit in the numerator and the same unit in the denominator. Okay, that's it for Examples, go ahead and complete your QCs and your CYU, and I will answer questions the next time I see you.